Okay, we're going to check in with our primetime team, find out what they're working on for tonight. Yes, Michael Corrin, you were just singing off camera. Do you want to give us a little ditty? No, but I was singing about Santa Claus, so it's okay. Uh, speaking of Santa Claus, I wonder if uh, Justin Trudeau could get a job as an elf, perhaps, because he's absolutely bloody useless and everything else. As you've probably seen, uh, he was abusive, contemptuous, rude, bullying towards Faith Goldie, a young woman, uh, Joan, an extremely intelligent young woman who, who works for us. We're going to keep playing this because the way he treated her shows what an arrogant little... You know, this man who's been told from the earliest days, you're special, you're a Trudeau, you can do no wrong. God forbid he ever gets any power because, well, you, you'll see what happened here, how rude and, and, and incompetent he was. We're going to talk about that. The Rumble is here every Friday. Friday. Uh, lots to talk about on the Rumble. Also, what else we got? Let's have a look. Let's have a butcher's mind. 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 <laughs> um, Oh, so there, sorry. Also, oh, a very interesting interview with, um, I've, I've never tackled this issue before, a hog farmer. Mm. He's a man who is a senior figure in, in that industry. And you know, these are really hardworking people, particularly in Western Canada. And W5 has gone after them. And some twit, some animal liberation lunatic with a camera has got all the bad stuff that's gone on and pretended this is typical. So he actually has the, 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 um, uh, the opportunity to defend himself on the show, which mm. is good. And also we're going to talk about what is happening in Syria. A priest, a Catholic priest, was kidnapped, his, uh, his eyes were gouged out, then he was murdered and his body dumped in the street. So all those idiots out there who think we've got to get rid of Assad, do you know what will replace him? It's not going to be uh, pluralistic democracy, it's going to be this sort of Islamic fashion, so be very careful what you wish for. Trudeau, hogs, kidnapping. Uh, gouging out eyes and the rumble. Uh, but uh, I'm trying to think, a hog or Trudeau? Mm, the mind boggles. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Okay, Brian Lilly is next for us. He's standing by in Ottawa. On tonight's program, we are going to talk about changes to the immigration refugee system that are important. Why? Because you won't be able to claim you're a refugee from the United States quite as easily as before. Unfortunately, we can't stop it completely, but, you know, do we really, do we really believe there are true refugees coming to us from Britain or the European Union? Are things so horrible there? No. So they're going to change the system. We'll talk about that. We'll talk with Benny Johnson about taxes. Do you know what the first thing ever taxed in the United States was? Benny's got the details for us. And we'll look back at historic Canadian tax rates. You won't believe how low they used to be. And our continuing coverage of Agenda uh, 21 is on tonight. Rosa Corey, she's a Liberal Democrat from the, uh, the San Francisco area, absolutely opposed to Agenda 21, calls it a loss of national sovereignty. And she's got the details and the background to prove it. Don't miss a thing. All that and more tonight on Byline. Brian, thank you. Ricky Ratliff is with me now. Tell me what's coming up on The Source. First, I would like to start with some breaking news, Karen. I just realized I've been wearing Ezra's makeup all week. <laughs> no big deal. You've looked lovely. <laughs> you look, see, you're, you're, you're stepping in for him. There's something about me now. I'm glowing. Thanks, Ezra, <laughs> for the makeup. Oh, my goodness. Anyways. <laughs> Lives are colliding too much here. Uh, tonight on The Source, Jerry's in, and uh, we're talking F-35s, but we're also talking Honda Accords and costing out those differences. you got to tune in for more details, but it, it'll be a little funny and a little eye-opening as well. We're going to take a look at this new uh, safe country list that Minister Kinney has just announced and uh, f you know, find out where, who's going to be designated. You know, Are these refugees that are coming into, into Canada, are they actually fleeing a country that's dangerous, or are they trying to abuse Canada's generosity? So we'll be taking a look at the map of, of that. And uh, as well, uh, Frack Nation, they're some friends of ours. They're, they're an organization that is pro-fracking, and they, they try to spread the truth about fracking and uh, try to tamp down a lot of the hysteria that surrounds this kind of un misunderstood way of uh, extracting energy from the ground. Um, they actually confronted the Hollywood actor Matt Damon about his upcoming mm. new film called Promised Land. I think it's out in theaters now, I'm not sure, but they confront him. We're going to give you the video of that. It wasn't pretty. Um, as well, we're going to close out this week with all the hottest stories on fire at The Blaze, theblaze.com, mm. Glenn Beck's website and um, news organization. They bring us all the stuff that's burning up there, and uh, we're just happy it's Friday. Thank you, Ezra. I mean, <laughs> are you wearing Jerry Agar's makeup today, too? I'll so never tell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, it is Friday. Charles Adler is next for us in Winnipeg. Hi, Karen. Tonight, the politically correct and politically incorrect guide to Christmas giving and what to give 
uh, to your friendly neighborhood right of center friend or member of the family what to put under the tree. Now, David Menzies, the Menzoid, host of Menzoid Mornings, will give us a tremendous list of what he doesn't want to see under the tree of any person who's right of center. And then we've got Brigitte Pellerin and Anthony Fury with the best possible gifts for right of center and libertarian folk. That's tonight, right here. All right, Antonio, let's check in with Marco. He's going to tell us what is coming up tonight on Road to the White House, mm -hmm. after the Road to the White House. I don't know what we're calling <laughs> it these days, but whatever's happening in Washington. Exactly. Uh, David has a tremendous show coming up. We're going to actually going heading out to B.C., uh, some great news out of there. First of all, we're, we're, we're questioning whether the, or looking into whether the, uh, the NDP, uh, BC NDP, have, have asked a Green Party candidate to, to step down or pressuring a Green Party candidate to step down. We're going to find out about the latest info on that as well. Uh, Moody's uh, lowering, the, uh, lowering the credit rating for, for BC. We're going to be talking about that. Also in Ontario news, we're going to be talking about uh, BC, the latest in Ontario political climate, uh, the leadership race, the Ontario leadership race for the, for the Liberals. And, uh, and as well, Justin Trudeau back in the news again about uh, the Islamic Conference, all that and more coming up on David Aiken's show tonight at 6. All right, we'll be watching it. Thank you, Marco. Thanks. Okay, don't go away. we got plenty more coming right up on Right Now.